need someone to show me my place in all this. Daisy, how are you? Good, how are you? End of episode seven on mm -hmm. the island, and now, because all the trailers, you know, we are, we, we are crazy about it. What is happening here? Ray is on the island with Luke. Mm -hmm. That is where she is for a portion of the film, and she is asking Luke all of the questions the audience is asking. Mm -hmm. What is my, where do I come from? What am I doing? What is this thing? What is the force, basically? And so that's awesome that she goes and to, gets to go on this journey with Luke of discovery. Um, and then there are perhaps questions from other people. And what I think is amazing is ultimately it is going to make her more her convictions more strong. Mm -hmm. Because if you get all of your information from one person, it's bound to be skewed, even though Luke is very honest, as we saw in the trailer. I think it's good to get two totally opposing points of view, potentially. It makes whatever you do richer, I think. Yeah, well, the trailer is a little of that, so yeah. now we will see the whole movie and find out what's yeah. happening. me has always been there. But now it's awake. Also, you know, something I really love about this new generation of Star Wars is they're going back to practical, they're going back to mm. real sets, mm. animatronics, amazing location. For you as an actress, I suppose it's more, you know, rich to play. I know, I was really jealous I went to Bolivia. <laughs> really jealous. <laughs> it sounded amazing. Yeah. Yes. It's weird because I just did something that's very visual effects heavy. Mm. And, uh, and people, it's weird, because even though we talked about the practical effects too, people still assume that everything we did was visual effects. Mm. And I'm like, I've never seen so much green screen, as in the film I just did, because a lot of it is, is green screeny stuff, because um, it has to be. There's no other way for it not to be. But it's weird, because the assumption is that that's what I'm used to, and it just isn't. Mm. Like with Star Wars, it wasn't, with or Murder on the Orient Express, it wasn't, we were on a real train. Um, and it's awesome, it adds to everything, because all the creatures are puppeteered, yeah. um, and we are where we're supposed to be. Uh, it's, yeah, it's great. And I need help. Before the episode seven, how was your relationship with the Star Wars? You know, you're like a fan, and you don't care, or you just... I was like, not that I didn't care, like I'd seen them, yeah. but I wasn't like, Crazy. Star Wars, yeah. yeah. And now I'm still not Star Wars, but obviously now I'm like in the fabric of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. um, and what's really nice too is like I didn't go in with any expectations on myself. Like I wasn't trying to be Leia or Luke or Han. I was just trying to do my own thing. Mm -hmm. And now I'm more aware of everything. It does make me more, feel more responsibility, I think, because now I understand how much people love it. Um, but ultimately it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful universe to be part of. It brings people together in a really beautiful way. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. I really can understand it. You know, for you as an actress, create a character, be involved mm. in a big franchise, mm. work with amazing actors. But for me, it must be really crazy when they show you your action figure. That, yeah. that, that, that sensation, how was it? The thing is, I think I, the only, the first time I saw them, John and I went to this Disney store opening, <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. It was really peculiar. Mm -hmm. And it still is weird, especially when they're sort of like, <laughs> don't really look like me, <laughs> which only happens occasionally. Yeah. Um, and I think occasionally people are like, eh, look yeah. what I did. Um, but it's really cool. Yeah. It's odd, but it's cool. When you're growing up, remember, for example, for, for a lot of people, it's a Star Wars that, you know, breaking point. When you remember when you're growing up, what kind of art or movies or music inspire you that you can say, okay, this touched me to now I am an actress? You no, know, I think it was when I, because I went to boarding school, so we, obviously for like 30 girls, we could watch one film. Okay. And I remember we watched Rent so many times. Okay. And I remember being like, have you ever seen it? Rent? Yeah. The musical? Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember being traumatized yeah. <laughs> and then my friend was in it last year uh -huh. and I was traumatized <laughs> but I remember thinking like wow 
That's the one thing, I've never actually really remembered that, but it, it's the one thing that I remember thinking, this has made me feel really deeply, uh -huh. um, and how amazing that a film can do that. Yes, it's amazing, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah, that, it, it's, it's a piece of art, mm. so that can yeah. touch our souls. So, can we expect maybe a musical in your career? I would love to do a musical. Yeah? I'm still waiting for someone to ask me. <laughs> like, please do. <laughs> Why not? Um, I mean, there are a lot more superior singers than me in the world, but I'm hoping that my, my, my want will be enough. Yes, I, I hope One so. Day. Well, thank you so much for thank your time. You. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you, you too.